Good morning, guys. John, the firearms instructor. Hope you're doing wonderful. It's Saturday morning. It's early. Uh, thought I'd do a little video for you about our playlist. Follow me back to the woods. Uh, if you didn't know it, uh, I'm going to do some deer hunting this year. I told everybody in this uh, playlist that uh, a couple things I've missed in my life, and deer hunting is one of them. Now that I've got a full staff here at the store and I've got the blessings of my wife, I'm going to go back to the woods. And I applied for a couple permits and I received them. So I am starting all over from scratch. I've been shooting my bow. I'm going to lose a little bit of weight. I've been, uh, I've been uh, doing some e-scouting. And I wanted to kind of show you uh, my, my, my journey, basically, in the uh, couple places I received. Now, there's no way for me to hide the one, but uh, because I'm going about to show you the map, uh, but uh, a lot of the guys are pretty secretive when it comes to this. But years ago, when we were doing this, we had topographical maps, and cell phones were okay, but we didn't have the GPS like we have now and everything else like that. So, you know, I can tell you that... Uh, I've been to this place. I've hunted it. I've seen. I know. I've had boots, boots on the ground. Um, but I didn't know exactly the whole thing and the distances and stuff like that. So I pulled up an app called uh, HuntWise.com. Now, I'm not sponsored by them. I just found that app. There are multiple out there, guys. There's a ton of them. I would tell you that they all look different. I have uh hunt stand app and i have this um hunt wise stand uh app and both of them are on my iphone and they both have uh good and bad things about them but i'm just using it more for the topographical aerial views of the area so i want to kind of show you what i'm looking for this year in areas that I think. So let me go over to the map real quick for you and kind of go full screen and kind of give you an idea of, all right, so this is uh, the areas where I find a little bit of interesting stuff to look at. And if you kind of look when you go in and out of this, it kind of gives us the uh, it kind of gives us the whole ability to look through the whole area. Now this is the main grade at Avon Park bombing range. Now the only reason why I'm telling you is because when I scan into some of this stuff, you're gonna see it. So there's no reason to hide it. I can't hide it, so it's not my map. But I wanted to show you right here. This is kind of cool. These are little areas that funnel in and a funnel is a good area because what it tends to happen is deer are going to travel where they feel secure and they feel like they have ability to uh have easy travel they don't go uphill as much as they can we're florida florida based deer are designed to live like a cow basically they they eat they sleep they shit and they mate those are the things they do and they're predators in every area and they have to watch for predators so mostly the deer travel in areas that are got good cover but then again they can see as well they're just like anybody else they have to see where they're at and majority of the time when hunting season comes in they become a little bit more pressure of what's out there they kind of know from season to season mom teaches the baby baby teaches their babies on and on and on so what we're looking for is we're looking for these pinch points these tight grooves these areas that give us the ability now if you check out this area let me get this mouse here real quick and kind of show you look at this area right here this is maybe a football field or less uh all the way around look how it curves in here and curves out there edges and points are where deer love to go so 
we're going to walk all this area and kind of give you a view of it. And if you kind of look, this is a good area right here. We have green and we have this gray area here. This gray basically is cypress heads. So this area is going to be a little wet and swampy. But look out here. We have all this cypress head area here. But look at the edge of this. These are all oak trees. Oak trees, cabbage palms, things like that that will be green. And this works both areas. But look at these little funnels they make by doing this. So this would be a great place. There's the right side of the road and the left side of the road, left and right. This looks like to me is a little creek that runs up and down here. And it's got trees on both sides of it that may have some substantial growth to them. This side here ends into this little area here, which if we scan in a little bit closer, look what that is. That's planted pines. And the planted pines have these taller trees up here. And you know what, what animal likes planted pines is the does. So these are great areas to start using your feet and walking on to visualize something. And I've marked a few of these spots already. But I want to take you down the road just a little bit and give you another view that you wouldn't even think you would know had that one for the flag pond in the wetness area here in the cut area. But check this out. As we get further down the road, we are going to get to an area that has a strip full growth planted pines but what i want to show you in the planted pines is these areas like this look at this right here and we marked that one in there for us look at that area there what's got openings if that had a big enough opening where deer would come in and come out of majority of the time in these planted pines they're a good area for growth so that'll be very grassy in there that'll be high grass areas where deer can come in and browse and be comfortable because of all that protection that's around them and there's the back side of this pond that has an area here now, these are close to the road i understand that but a lot of people will drive by this stuff and not thinking it's going to hold any deer and this is a major deer habitat due to the fact that it's able to escape all different directions now i wouldn't think this would be a great bow hunting spot uh, but definitely turkey hunting, maybe rifle hunting. If you found the right tree in the right time, you might be able to bow hunt here as well. Maybe a ground blind or something like that. But definitely a cool little thing here. And this works all the way up. So I wanted to get these on the map for me for when I go up next week. I'm going to be able to hit all of these areas. Uh, and I'm not going to, you know... It's called speed scouting. We're going in. What are we looking for? We're looking for rubs. We're looking for scrapes. We're looking for uh, prints. We're looking for deer itself. We're looking for the idea of deer being hit, maybe beds, deer beds. And, and I'll show you all this stuff on camera while I'm at the range. But while I'm, while I'm there, I'll kind of do a couple videos and show you what I'm looking for. But ideally, this whole area, this edge is all perfect area, perfect habitat that will hold whitetail and as we get further along and look at this stuff it kind of gives us the ability to draw all the way out and you have some funnel areas on this side too that bring animals in and we have the swamp head there now on the other side which i hunted many years ago there are a couple good spots over there that I remember from in the past, I want to kind of take you over to them real quick and kind of show you, see if I, I could find them real quick to make it easier for us. On the other side of the range, which is a good area too, to kind of give you 
great habitat in these areas to kind of work in our our zones and give you ability to find out. Oh, here we go. So these areas down here are very cool little areas because you can kind of see where that finger's all the way down here. Look at this big finger by the river. Look at the big finger all the way in here. A lot of different areas we can kind of play around with here. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too and follow us along on our journey as we are heading back to the woods. Let me go back to the main screen. Well, guys, I thought I'd share that with you. I know I didn't find it. It's not something I invented or anything else like that. It just gives you an idea that if you can't get to the woods, like for me, I work a lot, but I plan out my scouting in advance. I'm not wasting my time walking someplace I don't want to be. I want to go to these same spots, look at these same spots, think putting the spot towards uh, sites, uh, signs, and find out what's the best place to be on opening morning. If you like this, dig this, don't forget to hit the bell icon, the like, and subscribe button. And every time we upload a video just like this one, you'll be the next to know. I'm working on these... Um, share screen things so just uh stick with me a little bit here i'll make them better and better until next time god bless be safe and remember you are your first line of defense be safe god bless